Hello guys and welcome back to another Trials of Osiris review video. This week, it is week one of Season of the Plunder. Also, just a quick little thought, what do you guys think about me changing the name of these videos to This Week in Trials? So like, I start the video by saying, welcome back to another This Week in Trials episode, and then continue the video. Just, just a quick thought, I'm thinking about going back and renaming all the names that and making it that, rather than like the long ass title that it normally is. Let me know what you think of that. Anyway, off that topic, on to the topic of the first week of season to a plunder or season of the plunder sorry um my wording's a little off i'm very tired and i've not eaten yet this is directly after i finish my 12-hour stream with mr grenader jake by the way if you're watching this video i will be doing master raid with jake as well but to start this week we got very close to world's first this is probably the closest we've been in a while with any redeemer and myself we were four minutes less than four minutes off we were like three minutes and uh, 20 two seconds off i think and yeah we were super close unfortunately emmy gorar if you know her she her and her her team gate kept us obviously that wasn't their intention to gatekeep us but they they did they uh it's supposed to be a 5-0 game and they they made a really good comeback on us and almost won it actually so shout out to them i hate you emmy how dare you do that to me <laughs> One thing as well that I think is worth bringing up is this week, pulse rifles were very dominant. There was, let me see. Oh, there was definitely more pulse rifles in the top 10 than there was hand cannons in the top 10, but that's a given it's a map. And we've learned that when it is a bigger map, you're definitely gonna see longer range weapons. The top four consisted of three pulse rifles. It was no time to explain the battle rifle and uh, peace of mind. And then there was beloved. And then Austringer was number five, which I'm surprised about. Not really, I guess, but Jade Rabbit, a Spades, Le Mans, arc main ingredient wrist walker this uh i don't know how you guys felt about this week everyone playing watching this video replying to comments if you will if you care to conversate but i feel like this week was not too bad it was the first week of the season of the plunder for trials so obviously this is probably going to be the easiest week out of all the weeks and it's only going to get harder from here and also it was maybe not that actually might not be true because it wasn't really that good of a weapon it was a sidearm which is a repeatable weapon and it was also not a very favorable map. I don't feel like a lot of people enjoy Midtown too severely, so perhaps it won't be the easiest season. There might be one where people are more amped to play and you'll see the player count be higher, but it's probably only going to be one, uh, like one or maybe two weeks a season that you'll see that. I, I figure if they make it a good map with the Inquisitor shotgun, then maybe you'll see that because some people are kind of hyped about that one. Some people, including myself, certainly excited to make a video on it, so because personally I'm not too big a fan of slugs, especially now. Um, But yeah, this week was fairly easy. I don't really think I've seen anyone have issues with it or say it was a difficult week. I've seen a lot of people saying it was a fairly easy week. Also, some people wishing that freelance was a thing, but that's always normal. And then the weeks where freelance is a thing, people like just complain, all oh, my teammates are all bad. But yeah, anyway. One thing I didn't see a lot of was the hard meta, because I, I don't think a lot of people are too informed on what the hard meta is, although it's very similar to what it was last season, unfortunately. And the only people that you're really going to see running it is the very stacked like kd farming stacked guys like they that only they literally do not do any they, they very rarely will help people like which is completely fine they can play the, the game however they want but it tends to be those people that play that way but it's you it's the meta right now is like pretty much lorentz and arbalist or your special weapons and then a smg or in cannon or a sidearm or pulse rifle with lorentz and arbalist and then invis hunter with uh omni oculus or the falcon's chest piece or kepri sting and then you know storm chaser or something or you could be playing sentinel titan or striker titan boy also arc warlock might be making its way into that uh into the fold in terms of uh how meta it is the super is obviously not too good but the the uh melee aspect is very very strong and might be one of the strongest melees in the game right now so it could potentially peek its way or peer its way into the meta but you definitely don't see a lot of that right now and i guarantee you you can mark my words that you will you will see more of that in the future for sure and i mean None of the weapons that I mentioned even made it into the top 10, like, at all. There's no lore lead, no, no arbalist, so I'm very skeptical that these things will get nerfed in a timely manner, obviously with how Bungie is about patching things. They usually, in a season, do around three to four, maybe five patches, and given it wasn't something that was an excessive issue in the first week, I doubt that we'll see heavy usage of it um, until later in the season, which is good in some ways, but it's also kind of bad because it's going to be something that 
flies under the radar for a while for most people because i mean i know i figure a lot of people are very excited and like focused on arc and how good arc can be in pvp but they're not paying attention to like literally the things that were meta previously like the meta the hard meta is literally like exactly the same pretty much except it's not just omni it's also capri sting and uh the falcon's chest piece because omni has been nerfed a little bit so it's not as good but it is definitely still super good and still a very s tier pick amongst very high top one percent players so unless you're talking about people that like do help or anything like usually content creators are not going to be running that but people that are playing to win and only to win are usually going to be running that because realistically objectively it is the best thing to use that is their main concern is winning they do not care about the morality of the situation they just want to win which is like completely understandable and you know up to them and I, I do not blame them for playing the game that way. If it is in the game and Bungie has not fixed it, why should they not abuse it? You know, it's not their fault that it's there. So, but that's uh, up to us, the players, to show Bungie that those things need to be nerfed. So, and, uh, you know, obviously as a content creator, I try to do my best to spread um, information, whether sometimes that will be wrong information. <laughs> I am a human, so sometimes I'll get things wrong, but I try to spread the most genuine and correct and well-informed information. I try my best to all the time, but like I said, I am not always correct. Obviously, I'm a human and, you know, I don't have anyone fact-checking me and, yeah, I try to fact-check myself, obviously, but especially given that I have a platform and things that I say get to people and people hear it and, like, you know, there's influence there, so I try to be mindful of that and be objective and informative correctly as best I can, so. Anyway, this week's video, I had a good time this weekend. Obviously, I streamed for 48 hours. Uh, thank you to everyone that was around for that. I had a really good time. Once again, I'm potentially going to be doing another 48 hour whenever the Inquisitor comes out, assuming, that is, that the Inquisitor doesn't come out next week. First of all, next week's gonna be freelance. I don't like when it's freelance. It's makes, it makes doing uh, help, like, helping people harder because the pool of players is even less like the, the player base is even more divided and it's just it's very frustrating and plus i i kind of want to like you know a break like not a break but take a breath and like do a normal week of streams which is just eight hours for me instead of like pushing myself to do like literally two days straight again so soon because it does take a toll on me although after this one i did feel very well rested whereas like the last 48 hour i did i felt absolutely horrible like i felt this i was like sick for like a month after the fact but after this one i felt pretty good like i felt I, actually probably the best I have in a while after waking up so anyway we'll make that the video if you guys did enjoy the video please make sure to like comment subscribe let me know if you enjoyed this week what you thought of my thoughts on the meta and all that I'll make sure to try my best to reply to the comments and uh you enjoy the video once again make sure to hit the bell below for notifications on when videos come out I upload every day at 1 p.m est I've been doing that for about seven months now so pretty consistent on it very proud of the consistency that me and the the team the team being uh lazy and caesar have been able to keep up and uh yeah please make sure to hit the bell below for notifications on the videos and if you want more content from me make sure to check out my twitch when this video releases i will be streaming uh king's wall masters and uh if you want to keep up to date with when things are going live please make sure to go check out my twitter at two to fizzle also my twitch is to fizzle i forgot to say that but yeah anyway hope you all enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one peace out